I now give the floor to United Nations Watch. Thank you, Mr. President. United Nations Watch recognizes and commends Trinidad and Tobago for its progress in the promotion and protection of human rights, specifically its ratification of the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. However, the continued rise in human trafficking, specifically against women and girls, remains of great concern. Trinidad and Tobago introduced the Trafficking in Persons Act in 2011, which criminalized human trafficking and established the Counter Trafficking Unit. Though the question remains, how effectively is this act being implemented? In the report before us today, Trinidad and Tobago noted the charging of four persons under this act during the month of April 2021 for, quote, a range of offenses involving minors, close quote. However, the number of human trafficking cases being investigated under this act has declined drastically. In 2018, the Counter Trafficking Unit investigated 39 cases of trafficking, whereas in 2020, that number decreased to 12. Most strikingly, since the enactment of the Trafficking in Persons Act in 2011, the Counter Trafficking Unit has made no convictions, calling into question the legitimacy of the organization. Additionally, Trinidad and Tobago has made limited efforts to protect the victims of trafficking. In 2020, only six victims were identified, a number significantly lower than the 34 identified in 2019. Trinidad and Tobago attributes this discrepancy to the difficulties presented by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, though the pandemic has inhibited court functioning, it has not inhibited the work of human traffickers. The women and girls of Trinidad and Tobago are suffering greatly and little is being done to ameliorate this. We urge Trinidad and Tobago to further strengthen the capacities of the Trafficking in Persons Act in order to better protect the women and girls of their country. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.